All right, you all, are you ready for the exercise? Let's do it. Let's go to the computer. <laughs> This is fdleasyforme.at and here is IT security, FDL IT security. And last time we performed the quiz number two, quiz practice by Spieler. And today we are going to perform the quiz number five. We click on it. 38 questions, not 32. I thought it was 32 questions, but um, There are 38 questions. <laughs> Frage Nummer 1. Question number 1. Warum ist eine Authentifizierung notwendig? Bild. Authentifizierung mit Fingerscan. Translation. Um, why is uh, authentication necessary? Uh, image. Authentication with Fingerscan. I would say A. Ah, A. Stellt die Identität eines Benutzers sicher. Meaning, um, it is necessary to ensure the user's identity. All right. It's right. Frage Nummer 2, question number 2. Was ist eine Multifaktor Authentifizierung? Translation, what is a Multifaktor Authentication? I would say, um, C, der Benutzer muss sich mehrfach identifizieren. C meaning um, uh, multiple times authentication of uh, the user. Frage Nummer 3, question number 3. Welche Gefahren von Apps aus nicht offiziellen App Stores sind eher zu vernachlässigen? Uh, translation, um, I would put it like this. Um, what is the danger to neglect if you want to get apps from non-official app stores? The danger to neglect, I would say D. D. Funktioniert nicht. The danger is that uh, it doesn't function and that's all right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Frage Nummer 4, question number 4. Was trifft auf Cloud Computing nicht zu? Translation. Um, what is nonsense here about Cloud Computing? I would say D. Man trifft sich öfter persönlich. Meaning that you, you meet uh, all the users more often. Which is the exact opposite with uh, Cloud Computing. So... Yes, we are right. Frage Nummer 5, question number 5. Wie könnte der Begriff Cross-Site Scripting Angriffe übersetzt werden? Translation of question number 5. Um, they're asking us for another term or meaning for cross-site scripting attack. I would say A. Ah, Webseitenübergreifende Angriffe, meaning uh, application layer web attacks or XSS. Richtig. Frage Nummer 6, question number 6. Was ist uh, ransomware? Build ransomware by Spiel. Uh, translation, uh, what is ransomware? I would say um, C. Erpressungstrojana. Erpressungstrojana meaning um, blackmail or extortion. Trojan. Remember the Trojan horse uh, story or legend? Richtig, meaning it's right again. Frage Nummer 7, question number 7. Welchen Zweck kann ein Mac Filter haben? A translation, um, what is the purpose of uh, a Mac filter? I would say 
c'est den Zugang nur bei passender MAC-Adresse erlauben, meaning um, just to allow the appropriate MAC-Adress. This is the purpose of a MAC filter. Richtig, it's right. Frage Nummer 8, question number 8. Welche Aussage ist für den Begriff MAC-Adresse richtig? Translation, uh, which statement about uh, the term MAC address is right here? I would say A. A. Ist eine eindeutige Adresse eines Computers. Richtig. Meaning, it is a unique address uh, for MAC. Frage Nummer 9, question number 9. Welcher Netzwerktipp wird in kleinen Firmen gerne eingesetzt? This is an easy question. Translation, uh, which network type is utilized by small firms or companies? I would say LAN, of course. Local Area Network, richtig. Frage Nummer 10, question number 10. Wo kann ein persönlicher Hotspot eingerichtet werden? This one is also easy. Translation, where can you lodge a personal hotspot? Uh, of course, auf dem privaten Smartphone. On a private smartphone. Of course. Richtig. Right. Okay. Frage Nummer 11, question number 11. Let me remove this one first. Okay. Uh, welche Vorteile hat ein Passwort Manager? Translation, um, what advantage or what benefit has a password manager? I would say this one is easy. Man muss sich nur ein Passwort merken. Meaning, uh, you just have to remember one password for all your passwords stored in the password manager. That's really all right. Richtig. Mm -hmm. Frage Nummer 12, question number 12. Wie nennt man diese Art von E-Mails? Translation, how do you call that kind of e-mails? This is easy, this is a, a phishing mail. Phishing mail. All right. You know, you can, you can see it here just by reading the email. This is uh, easybank.at there. They're faking their identity just to get, uh, to receive your, you know, your account number and, you know, this is what we call phishing. And this is right. Frage Nummer 13, question number 13. Welche Aussage passt nicht für den Begriff einmal kein Wort? Translation, which statement doesn't match with the term OTP or one-time password? I would say this one is really easy. Um, kann mehrmals verwendet werden, this one. Meaning uh, you can use it multiple times. That's the opposite. <laughs> Only one time you can use it. Okay. Now, question number 14, Frage Nummer 14. Woran erkennt man eine sichere Website? wo Daten gesichert übertragen werden. This one is also easy. Um, translation, um, how do you recognize a secured website, you know, with a secured data transfer? This is really easy. If you don't know that, then you're lost. <laughs> uh, HTTPS, Hypertext Transport Protocol Security. Richtig, right. Frage Nummer 15, question number 15. Uh, this one is a repetition. We already had this question before. And the answer is still the same. Welche Art von E-Mail liegt hier vor? What kind of uh, email types is that? Uh, it's still phishing mail. Same thing, you know, with EasyBank. All right. Frage Nummer 16, question number 16. 
in welchem Bereich der Systemsteuerung finden sich die Einstellungen für die Firewall. Hinweis, die Firewall wehrt Zugriffe aus dem Netz ab. Translation, um, in which area of the control panel do you find uh, the firewall settings? And they give you a hint, they tell you that firewall is a network attack defender. Um, I'm gonna say Sicherheit und uh, System und Sicherheit. Frage Nummer 17, question number 17. Wie kann ein Ordner im Explorer von Windows verschlüsselt werden? Translation, uh, how do you encode or encrypt a folder on Windows Explorer? This one is easy. Let's go down to check the list. I would say, uh, C, rechte Maus, Taste auf den Ordner, Eigenschaften. Meaning, uh, right mouse click plus property. And it's right. Okay. Frage Nummer 18, question number 18. Wie wird eine Word-Datei mit einem Kennwort zum Öffnen geschützt? Translation, um, how do you protect or encrypt your Word file with a password um, to open encryption? I would say, this one is easy, uh, menu datei informationen, meaning tab file plus information. This is right. Frage Nummer 19, question number 19. Die A1 WLAN Box ermöglicht eine seitliche Zugriffskontrolle für das Tablet von Lukas. Welche Aussagen stimmen? Um, translation, um, let me put it like this. On Lukas Tablet, there is a temporal internet access control option via A1 WLAN Box. His, uh, this is his WLAN Box. And here are the choices he made. And the question is basically like uh, when or what times or which hours did he choose? Here you can see um, week, the weekdays, Lucas tablet, and he did choose like uh, 4 and 5 p.m. And on the weekends, he did choose uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 o'clock. Uh, I mean, p.m., same thing. So uh, they just ask you what he did, and I would say, Lukas kann am Morgen um 14.09 Uhr, Lukas kann am Dienstag um 17 Uhr, ja. He can, you know, uh, on weekdays, he can uh, have access on internet uh, by 5 p.m. And I would say also, um, Lukas kann am Samstag um 21 Uhr, stimmt, ja. I would say C also, uh, meaning that on, on the weekend, on Saturday, he can now, he can go on internet by 9 p.m. Yes, he did uh, check this box too. Lucas can am Sonntag um 4 Uhr 9. These two are right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Frage Nummer 20. We have already reached the question 20. Um, wer sich am Computer in einem Computernetzwerk anmeldet, soll sich auch wieder Okay, this one is really easy. Our translation, the one who wants to log in on a network should also be able to upmelden, meaning log out. Of course, if you log in, you can log out. Mm -hmm. Frage Nummer 21, question number 21. Eine Firma speichert persönliche Daten von Kunden. Diese Firma ist laut der Datenschutzgrund Uh, oh la la. Verordnung <laughs> Grundkraft Verordnung uh, Yes, I know what it is uh, Betroffener, Verantwortlicher Administrator or Software Entwickler A company or a firm uh, saves uh, clients private data um, According to data protection regulation, this company is what? Um I would say verantwortlicher, B, meaning that the company is uh, in charge or accountable or responsible. 
Mm -hmm. And it's right, of course. <laughs>